filled with nothing. That's why that Mark uh, Mark Dice or whatever went around and him and that, uh, what's his name? Alex Jones, the crazy nut, okay? Both of those guys are tweakers. And if you can't tell what a tweaker is, I don't know what. I mean, you can't tell this guy is on something the way he acts like that. He doesn't even have normal emotions, okay? He, he's nothing but an actor. He yells. He can't even keep his tones right like a person who really cares about something because we know he don't care about nothing. He lives in a big farm, and he has an $80,000 compound. He's getting paid from Golden Sachs and all the elites and the zoniness, and they're supplying him tons and goods. Googles and Googles of money and equipment and studios and everything. And what the hell does he have to be upset about when he gets everything from the elites? Isn't that such a joke? Okay. And then they go around lying, being uh, fear mongers and going on the streets and telling people lies and saying that um, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. And they lie so much and saying that they're going to start Nazi things and they're going to um, just inject as many kids and all this crazy stuff they're talking and they don't even tell the people that at the end oh that was a lie okay they don't say nothing they just keep the people signing off their signatures giving away their uh, private information by the way they have these signatures now they can go and do credit card scams and all kinds of scams with them now Okay, they put the, these their signatures into the hands of CIA co-ops. These guys are probably uh, double agents is what they are, okay? And they put all their information and they probably put their address on there, their zip codes, and giving it to this man, right? And he makes up these false petitions and, and misleads the public, even though it's against the law, that if Mark or Alex Jones does it, they don't get arrested, right? But if a black person or a minority went out with fake petitions and tried to get people's signatures, they would have the police on them so fast in handcuffs and charged with a felony of false fraud petitions misleading the public no but it's okay right because when it's the agents doing it and the disinformation people then they let them then they turn the other eye if you can't see that then you're blind okay another reason why them two are, are ganging up together is because they're both being discredited everyone already knows what they're about and that they just give us the little pieces they're just reporters for the elites basically and um, the elite will call them in and say, yeah, we need you to go out there and see, you know, how people are reacting um, to us becoming Nazis again and, you know, showing our true horns and everything and what we're really about and how we just want to take everybody's um, property and everything and rule and dictate like a communist Nazi, okay? And then they go, go out there. Hey, Alex, go out there. We got assignment for you. Hey, you guys team up because we've been noticing that they've been really not liking you lately. So two together makes a lot more um, subscribers. And then I guess now Mark Dice is just getting blown up with the subscribers. He's getting like 10000 a week or something due to them two giving each other the pass off and stuff. Okay. And then he goes even with, I think I saw something with him and Tommy Sodemeyer, like the lowest gay dude on the um, web who promotes gay men, black men hating black women. And now Alex Jones teamed up with him. The big discreditor, the dude who's just nothing but um, a hater, okay, of his own race. So I guess it makes sense that them two would hook up. I mean, since Alex probably hates minorities, he really doesn't even have any working for him. And you can tell Mark just goes in ham on black people the hardest you can tell he gets a little pleasure out of it especially like guess Kim's Kim's date and a black dude that was really ruffle his feathers since he's watching every jury piece she wears since I guess he's the gay new jury correspondent um, these guys are I'm telling you man they're just such a laughing stock they really should have been comedians they missed their calling because they're such a joke and I know people just watch them and laugh about them and just joke about it and, uh, oh, I guess the elite's got a little, little a van behind me, like, to show you. Ooh, look, remember when that van ran you over, and we almost killed you?
See how they are? They play games all day long. They got even a van in front of me. Look at this. I guess they already went to my camera and listened to everything, but they sure didn't care enough to let my pat my check um, clear. So I could um, now I have to go to the Dollar Tree, by the way, and um, get it cheap there because, of course, I was trying to save my cash. You know, because you know they basically um, starve us out and at the end of the month and just hope everyone just falls apart and can't make it because. Um, they don't give you enough food stamps. They do it on purpose. The food banks won't even currently give you enough food. And the food they give you is just beans and rice and stuff. So, you know, it's they'll, they're sending millions and trillions of money over to foreign countries before they'll even help poor single women in America. Okay? That's the state of America. Okay? Welcome here to the land of the cheat, the land of the elite, the land of the sick, satanic, masonic, Nazi, communists, who rule everything and dictate and won't even let Christians have nothing.